Okay guys, so we're back. After we discuss about Google Trends, um, let me give you a short reminder from the last lecture. Uh, after we close on uh, sunglasses niche, all right, and we recognize the, oh, and we actually recognize the trend of sunglasses, which means the niche, uh, this is the niche that we wanna go with, so, sunglasses all right this is the search term and after that we pick on the past five years and what we actually find that the trend is so awesome that actually repeat every year on the same dates so actually this one is one of the most uh, 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 um, relevant products and niche that i want to looking for and i want to find so after we go with the sunglasses, so I want to show you the next tool. It's actually the Keyword Planner by Google. This one is one of the most powerful tools because I can tell you guys that we make tons of money with this tool. And when you find it, you crack the magic with a new filter of Google. So by Google, so you can find it there. There is a lot of benefits inside this tool, which no one is knowing about. So if we go, here, uh, uh, when you go to tools, you can click keyword planner. And when you come here, you can put sunglasses. Get started. All right, uh, just make sure that you are on the United States, English, Google. Now, this is actually the trend of the product. You can see that you have a lot of searches right now that uh, start on January. This is the peak. And here the peak is goes down because it's the winter. And, but as you can see on January, as we see on Google Trends, this is where the trend starts. As you can see, January 9 goes down, January 23, the boom is start going up. Now, what is actually amazing here, it's the keyword that you can market with. Now, if you go here, you can see that 200,000 people actually is looking for Ray-Ban sunglasses every month. Okay, now this is not what interesting me because I know that there is a lot of competition with these keywords and these keywords is actually so expensive when you look at the um, 1.75, Ray-Ban sunglasses is 1.85, which is really expensive, but the money and the golden nuggets is actually on the long tail keywords. So the magic here is if you find a product, which means for example, on this situation is the sunglasses, so what you're supposed to do is to go to the filter, all right? And what you actually want to do is it's to find, first of all, the lowest competition that you can find. So for example, if you go to competition, you want to see low and medium. If you go with the eye, so you should pay so expensive per click. But you want to go to a places where, where, there, where there is no, not a lot of competition. Because think about it, when you find a winning product that actually people running and sold a lot in Aliexpress and Amazon and you see a big trend that actually running right now and you see a lot of sales on Aliexpress you need to think in your mind what the people is doing with the product right now and most of them actually is sold the products on Shopify platforms and sold the product in uh, uh, Facebook ads and Google shopping ads, but no one is thinking about Google AdWords, the keywords, which people actually is looking for the product. And this is where the golden nuggets, people are looking for the product and actually this one is much higher conversion rate. So when you go to the lowest competition you can find, so you can go with these keywords and target the people that with the product that they are actually looking for. All right, so we go with the low and the medium. When we find the low in the menu, you can find that we have searches. All right, this is the lowest, this is the highest. All right, so we can see that sunglasses up, 300,000 people is looking for this keyword every month and CPC actually, the bidding is 0 0.59. And this one is actually as great potential for targeting this uh, 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 the, this time of the year. Um, more than that, 
more than that, when you collect all of those keywords, the best keywords you can find is the long tail keywords, which means like, for example, if you go to this one, for example, women with sunglasses, no, it's not relevant, not relevant. Black guy sunglasses, all right, this is interesting. So when you think sometimes about marketing and when you find a product, it's good all the time, I'm saying that all the time to my students and my colleagues that to take the product immediately and send it to some influencer, can be YouTube, can be Instagram. So for example, if you see some big potential, this one is a potential, but not so big, but my mind and my team is working when we look at those things, this one is a great potential to catch the keyword and make a conversion rate of over 50%, we, because we have a lot of projects that actually is working on this way. Think about it. When you see black guy sunglasses, now we're going to see that there is only 40 searches a month. But think about it if we have more than 4,000 searches a month. Who think about these keywords? Only you guys. This is the trends that actually you need to look after. If you see some potential of some keyword that actually blow your mind with some name that actually is not familiar, so black guy sunglasses, so immediately our actions, when I see above 1,000 searches, my additional action is to go and send the product to some black guy. Because if I send it to a black guy, my sunglasses that I'm selling, so boom, strike. This is what people are looking for. Um, okay, long tail, all right. Online shopping cheap sunglasses, good potential. Not a lot of search, I know. No competition at all, but actually 10 people. I know it's not so much, but what we want to look after actually is to go to the low medium. This is what important. After that, you can filter more also to go with uh, monthly searches minimum of 100. Okay, let's sort out all of those and let's go with these keywords. Okay, when you put your mouth, you can also see the trend, where the trend starts. All right, we can see that on June, May, and July, there is tons of searches, but think about it. I wanted to explain you the difference between January, when you start the trend, and you find your odd product, uh, until you get to May. You need to understand that all the spy tools and all the research tools that actually follow after other people and advertisers are catching the trend here. And here on this stage, people are start to copy your product, copy your advertising, which means they don't have a chance to succeed more than one or two months. So you need to think that about that if you start your campaigns, when the trend is actually starts, so you can catch the trend goes up again and again every month and you are profitable all the months. And when you spend profitably for two, three months, you get optimization by Google, which means they see that you have a lot of conversions and they are, and you are top rated and you are already sort out all the bad keywords and you are uh, 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 continue to succeed with uh, amazing keywords. So that's all about the keyword planner. All right, here you can find your golden nuggets, all of those keywords without competition that I, that actually you can uh, uh, you can uh, search them. Uh, if you uh, subscribe to some VPN, you can uh, see what other people is doing right now. I don't believe there is a competition on these keywords, but you just go take your product, winning product on your best time with your best keyword and actually the potential here is massive. So uh, if you have just any questions, just ask me on the, on the, on the course and I will be glad to answer. Uh, that's it. Thank you.